Hi everyone, Miss Rose Gold here. Thank you so much for visiting my YouTube channel again. I had a request from a few of you ladies that asked me to do a comparison between the Cartier Legger, I believe that's how you pronounce it, and I had mentioned that I also own a Diamond by the Yard. They are very similar necklaces and I know a lot of people can be very tied between which they wanna purchase. Um, I was one of those people. I just couldn't decide on which one I wanted more. So it was just a goal to eventually own both. So I have obtained that goal and I just wanted to display them to you guys for those of you who are on the fence on which one you would like to purchase or which you'd like to purchase first if you end up deciding to get both of them like me. So this one that I am displaying first is the Cartier Legger. So this one is in a 0.19 of a carat diamond and you'll notice the rose gold and how shiny and shimmery the chain is. You've got the double C's for Cartier. Now I'll try it on for you so that you can see how it looks on. This is in a 16 inch length. Cartier did do a lot of people the favor of doing a double jump ring so that if you decide that you want to layer it and wear it a little bit shorter, which this is a very great uh, layering piece. I layer it all the time with different pieces that I own that are just a little bit longer. And, but when I wear it on its own, I typically wear it at the 16 inch length and you'll kind of see where it sits. I wouldn't say that I have like a thick neck and I wouldn't say that I have like a tiny neck. I would say I have like an average size neck and you'll see kind of where it sits. So here's like my neck line and then it's about an inch lower. This is the Cartier Lager. It's it retails for $2,450. That is the same price that I purchased it for. My husband purchased it for me um, about a year ago, a little over a year. And then this one I have owned since COVID um, when everybody was in quarantine and the shops were closed. So the difference is that this one is a very matte chain. It's got like a matte finish. Now, this diamond is 0.17. It retails for 1,550. Now, since COVID in 2020 till now, 2022, the price has gone up. I believe that when I purchased this, it was about $1,400, it's now $1,550. Now, I would say the difference between the two, being that it's got that, this is yellow gold, by the way, being that this is like a very matte chain, um, you can only really see the diamond. So it kind of just like blends in with your skin and it just looks more of like a free floating little diamond. Um, whereas, the Cartier has that sparkly chain, which it makes the necklace stand out more. Now, see how you can tell the difference? That's a great comparison. So I would say that this is a little bit more dressy. This is something you would wear layered possibly or by itself, but it's more elegant, I would say where the diamond by the yard is very casual. I do wear this a lot when I travel because it's very, um, it's just very, it doesn't uh, create attention. Whereas this one creates a little bit more attention because of the sparkle on the chain. So I hope this is a good comparison for you guys. Um, they are very, very similar and sometimes I have to admit, I feel very tied between both um, on which one I wanna wear on which day. 
Uh, so yeah, one, oh, one other thing to mention, the Tiffany is a 16 inch chain. Tiffany did not make a jump ring. So this one, just in case you are considering it as a primary layering piece, this one I would say is a little bit harder to layer just because you don't have the option of changing the size. This one I layer with many more necklaces because I can make it closer up to my neckline as a choker style and I can wear it with like another 16 inch chain whereas my diamond by the yard, I can't. Now, let me actually put on the Cartier one at the, you know, I don't even know uh, what length it is. I believe it might be 15 inches so like an inch shorter but I want to show you guys how it looks when you put it at the uh, shorter jump ring and I mean there might be a lot of you that would want to wear it like this all the time for me um, I would say my preference is at the 16 inch just because it's just a little tighter and so when you move around the diamond kind of just flips up up and down and I like the way it looks at the 16 inch line not where it doesn't flip up and down it's just flat so hopefully this uh, review YouTube video will be helpful in your next purchase have a fantastic day guys